Hello everybody, welcome back to Lily Lulu if you've been here before and a warm welcome to you if you are a first time visitor. I'm Karen, I'm the Junk Journal Geek and today I'm going to do a quick flip through of my fairy tale journal. I've been working on this for some time, I've done some of it on camera um, but I think she's finished now, I'm ready to go other than I'm going to find something to put on the ends of these strings here, which I haven't done yet. But other than that, um, I think she's ready to go. So it's a hardback journal. It's got four signatures. Um, it's about 240 pages altogether. Um, it's been covered with an old um, pillowcase. And I've added some lace trim down the spine. It's held together, it's held closed with this sari silk, which wraps around, but it is um, attached at the back with an eyelet so that it doesn't get lost. Um, but I've left plenty of room there so that this can expand. And then on the front, I have added a piece of lace and I have stitched on some, some more lace as a trim there. I've added this applique, which was from um, one of the packs that I bought from Betty and Ivy. And then we've got these two um, flower trims on here as well. And then when you lift this up, we have this unicorn underneath. Um, and this has been edged with gold and it's got some sparkles on and um, this is the front of an old greeting card and then all around the edge of the um, cover I've also added this gold um, it's the cosmic shimmer gold is it wax or something I can't remember what it's called I, I used to use it on everything um, and then when we moved it didn't come out from the garage here it is metallic gilding polish that's what it's called um and I went down there to look for something the other day and I found it again I thought oh there's my gold sparkle I miss my sparkle so that's the front because I thought when you with fairy tales there's always a secret or a surprise isn't there so um and this journal has been made to mark the birth of a little girl so I'm assuming that the recipients will use it um, you know, like a baby book to record milestones and put pictures in and notes and cards and things like that. So it's not overly embellished or filled because obviously I want to leave space for the recipients to do whatever they want in here. So I'll link below. I think I used mainly three kits. I'll link them below. So in the front here, so the, the hard cover is trimmed with fabric and then it's lined with this um, scrapbooking paper inside. And then I've made a pocket here that's sort of invisible, but I did just ink it slightly so you can see an edge. And then I've just made a journal card to go in there. Um, but as I say, I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm assuming that these journal cards and things won't really be used. They'll take them out and put other things in that they want to keep. Um, so that's trimmed with um, some blue lacy trim at the top. We've got a butterfly on there that I've added my button and um, crochet cotton to for antennae. And then down here, I stuck on this little tiny ribbon to hold this book, but the, the book does come out. So there's some secret journaling space in there. And then that's just held in place with this ribbon and it's a bit of a pain to tie. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you how I had done it, but I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to do that on camera. So these are my own um, digital pages that I've made. We've got some tea dyed papers, and again, this is my watercolour digitals. Then we have the um, little window flip that I did. I think I did this on camera with you. So that flips out. Do we need to scooch over a little bit? Um, 
and so it's a it's a double frame so that they can put a photo in here if they or two photos if they want to and then this journal card is actually an opening journal card so for some secret journaling space um and i've got this all crushed where it's been in the thing so that just slides in between those two frames so that was i think i called that my photo frame flip or something and but there is um a video i think we did that on video together so that's that then some more tea dyed paper some pink paper some squared paper and then these are pages from the fairy tale book that i used i've got that here in front of me let's hope everything doesn't fall down i used this um book to make some bits and pieces for inside more tea dyed paper then we have a doily more of my watercolor paper lovely fairy tale castle cinderella oops so all of these um just plain watercolor pages are my own pages Then we have a little side tuck here that's made from that same book, a page from the book and a journal card. This is, I think these come from um, Sunny Creates Vintage Rose kit. I'm not 100% certain. This is um, the sheet that matched the well, it didn't match, but it was part of the set that went with the pillowcase that um, I made the cover from. And that's just made, that's that's tea dyed paper on the back and it's all sandwiched with a piece of junk mail inside, a junk mail flyer, just to give it a little bit of sturdiness. And we have some that same fabric ruffle down there. So it's just the second half of that first signature. Little corner tuck down there. That's that was came from the fairy tale kit. And so I've left lots of blank spaces because I assume they're going to be sticking pictures in and writing their own memories. We've got um, an up tuck there, which is part of the greetings card that I used to make the front cover and this is ephemera that came with the kit that's just edged with some blue lace on that side then on this side we have a little tuck space there with a journal card and some lace down that edge everything's going to be tricky to put back in isn't it because I'm on camera this is ephemera from the kit that I've just used to make a sort of a tab and that was from the butterfly kit. I actually cut out one of the butterflies. Then that turns over, we've got a couple of tuck spots here, all trimmed with lace. And I've just popped a couple of pieces of ephemera in there. And that's a piece of ribbon trim along there with a button, just to finish it off. And we're into the second signature now more of that fabric as a ruffle trim tea dyed paper another journal card this is a um, pocket made from vellum or side tuck made from vellum and i had a piece of um doily that I'd used in another project that had the pink ink on it and I thought it looked good in this journal and then I just stuck um, that's a punch to butterfly that's stuck on there just for a bit of decoration so I haven't decided what I'm going to do with these dangly bits yet 
um, I'll probably add some charms when I've dug those out. Another little corner pocket with a piece of ephemera and some lace and a little lace bow. Then here we have a belly band and that's just um, like a coins type pocket I made from one of the pages tucked behind there. And then I have stuck this pocket which came with the kit onto the belly band and popped um, one of the tags from the kit in there. More book page. Another doily, more tea dyed paper. And then we have this window, which is made from a window envelope, um, which when it's this side showcases the castle. But when it's this side, I'm, I've, I've done it that way so that they can pop a picture behind here. I hope this is not glaring too much. Um, they can pop a picture here, which will show through that page as you're flipping through. I've been through and added more glue here and there, but um, I'm still finding spots that need a little bit more attention. That's the trouble when you use window envelopes. I've just <laughs> knocked that apart again with my arm. Don't need any up there. Hopefully that will do the trick. It's amazing, it doesn't matter how many times you check these things, always when you're filming a flip through, you'll find more work needed doing. Um, I think I actually might, I've got a couple of pieces left here that I'm going to tuck in, but I might pop something else on here. Um, don't know, looks a bit plain with just that music paper. So then into the third signature, or another one of these pages, the castle peeking through. This time we've got one of my butterflies with the um, crochet cotton antennae and a button. And then on the other side, the same thing again, they can pop a picture here and you'll be able to see it through that page. And there's another butterfly on the other side. Then we have another belly band with an envelope and some paper, some matching paper inside. And then again, a pocket on the belly band, just with a little tag tucked in. More book page. All sorts of bits and pieces in here. I think all these kit pages go so well together with the butterflies and the fairy tale castles and they just work really well together. Um, this is just a piece of book page I've used to make a pocket and then I've tucked a journal card in there. I wanted there to be a few pockets, you know, so that they've got spaces to tuck things. Another fairy tale castle. I'm thinking I might just cut these short because I'm not sure that they detract from the castle. I've been umming and ahhing. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'll look and see what charms I've got and then decide. I'd forgotten that I hadn't done the charms. Just as well I'm filming a flip through, otherwise I would have probably given that, gifted that without anything on the bottom. Or I'd have just about to given it and realised. <clears throat> Got another one of these flip outs here, so it's a belly band. And again, there's an envelope and some paper tucked behind there. And then you flip it out and there's another couple of 
tucks. And obviously you can write on here. Oops. My up tuck doesn't want to tuck up. So we're into the last signature now. It's just another book page pocket with a tag and a piece of sari silk that matches the bow on the front. More ruffle trim, more book page. And then we've got another flip here. So in this flip, we have a journal card tucked in there. We have another one tucked in here. And I've put, I've put on this long yellow ribbon because it, am I not sure if it was, this will all fit in, but it just reminded me of Rapunzel's hair flowing down. So I thought that went well there. And then there's another journal card tucked in there just with some lace trim and I won't attempt to put that back now. And then another window with another butterfly. This time this has got some lace down the edge, the butterflies on top of the lace. And again, you can see the fairy castle through that window and they can stick something on here to peek through that window. I hope I'm in screen. I can't see what I'm doing today. Another beautiful fairy tale castle. Just some lace trim down that edge. Lots of writing space. Another book page pocket with a journal card. I think these butterflies are just so pretty. come to the back so in the back here I've done the same as the front I've got a pocket on the inside cover with a big journal card in there and then I've just tucked I've stuck um, one of the little frames on there to act as tuck spot and I've just tucked in a few pieces of ephemera that I had left over and um, just popped them there so that they can be used but that apart from the, the angles <laughs> is my fairy tale journal so let me know what you think um i enjoyed making this i think the kits that i've used are absolutely beautiful i will leave them in the description box below so that if you want to you can go and grab them for yourselves and i love the way i, I don't know if it's picking it up on camera but as you move this the gold the light's picking up the gold and it's just shimmering through there so there you go. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you found that interesting. Um, if you've got any questions or anything, let me know. Otherwise, I'll be back. So as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, thank you for joining me today. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, take care until next time. Look after yourselves and enjoy your own crafty time. I'll be back again very soon. Bye bye now.